Hello trainers, welcome back to Poke Patrol. The remote rating feature has just gone live in Pokemon Go. It is currently live for all accounts over level five, which is, I would say, a vast majority of players. So I want to do a little video going over how to do a remote raid. It's pretty simple to be honest with you, so this video shouldn't take too long. First things first, you're going to need a remote raid pass, and this can be obtained in two ways. Uh, one is through the one Pokecoin bundle that is available in the store right now. Uh, you get three remote raid passes for one Pokecoin. Uh, alternatively, you can buy remote raid passes for 100 Pokecoins each or 250 Pokecoins for three raid passes in a bulk deal. As of right now, you can only carry three remote raid passes, but this can be bypassed uh, by buying, uh, say, two remote raid passes at full price and then buying the bundle. It will allow you to have five, I believe. But technically speaking, the remote raid pass limit is three at the moment. So now that you have these raid passes, what do you do with them? Well, there are two ways you can activate your remote raid. First of all, you can go into your menu here and click on the raid feature, and it will show you all the raids that are nearby. Uh, from there, you can just click on view. Let's do this EV, for example. And we are now at the EV raid, and it should give us a little pop-up asking us to use remote raid pass. There you go. Uh, alternatively, you can just back out of that. You can just click on the gym itself uh, if it's within view on your map and it'll do the exact same thing for you. And from there, you can just use your remote raid pass and it will be the exact same as a normal raid from that point onwards. And yes, that includes the insane wait times you have to wait in the lobby. Unfortunately, that has not been changed with remote raids. As of right now, you can only have five people using remote raid passes at a time per raid, uh, which means you can have 15 people at the location then five raiding from home per raid. Uh, this may change in the future, but as of right now, it's five maximum per raid using a remote raid pass. As I mentioned before, once you actually use the remote raid pass, the raid functions basically the same as if you were raiding in person. However, this will change in the future because they will be implementing a damage debuff in the future. So if you are raiding from home in the future, uh, chances are you'll be doing a little bit less damage than someone who's actually raiding in person, which honestly makes sense. Uh, but as of right now, there is no damage debuff and you're doing the exact same amount of damage as if you were raiding in person. Uh, so as you can see, yeah, we beat the Eevee. Congratulations. It was a, a very hard fought raid. Let's see if we get a shiny here. Just to end this video off. That'd be a nice way to end this little dumb video. It's a nice sh shiny Eevee. Here we go. Shiny. Uh, well, that was disappointing. Uh, so yeah, act normally. You don't get shinies like normal. So yeah, that is how you use a remote raid pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, hopefully you're able to do some raids from home. If you guys have any other questions about remote raiding, please make sure to ask them down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Until then, though, I think that's about all I have for you, so I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, trainers. Oh man, this Eevee's garbage.